Shrimad Bhagavatam and it actually happened, this pastime happened millions of years ago when Satya Yuga was going on. So this drama actually shows that how Lord Krishna is very merciful and he comes to satisfy any desire if his devotee prays sincerely. So this drama is being done by the Mill Park Bhakti Ruksha children. Please give a big round of applause for them. are very astonishing and difficult to understand. Hence, in sitting the Bhagavad Gita by Lord Krishna, Bhakti Mam Abhijanakani, Yavan Yashya Smita Karta, Tato Mam Tatvato Nathal, Vishite Tadatantam. The early third devotional service can be devotees attempt to understand the devotee and the Lord and his glories. Hearing these pastimes is very material for the devotees and is a practical of life. However, at times, by the Lord's own arrangement, his devotees are empowered by him to perform astonishing feats as well, which otherwise no ordinary human could hope to achieve. Such glorious activities of his devotees are equally nectar to God and bring relief from the burning mysteries of material life. Today, on the auspicious occasion of Jinmashtami, we would like to present a drama based on one such devotee of the Lord who, by his determination, he attained a position which was even attained, even not impossible to attain in by demigods. This drama is about the great devotee Guru Maharaj, who is famous and worshipped all over the world as a boy for whom the Lord had to appear. Now, we will go back millions of years in time, when the son of Swayam Uvamanu, King Uttanapad, was ruling over the earth. King Uttanapad had two queens, named Suniti and Suruchi. Suruchi was much more dear to the king, and she had given him a son named Uttama. Suniti, whose son was Dhruva Maharaj, was not his favorite. Let us go to the palace of King Uttanapad, where he is playing with his two children, Uttama and Dhruva. Oh father, what does it look like when you adjust your counsel from the throne? Do they look smaller? Let me climb up your lap and pretend I am the king, managing the nation's affairs. Even I want to climb up on your lap too, father. While the child Dhruva was trying to get on the lap of his father, Suruchi, his stepmother, became very envious of the child and with great pride she began to speak so as to be heard by the king himself. My dear child, you do not deserve to sit on the throne or on the lap of the king. Surely you are also the son of the king, but because you did take birth from my womb, you are not qualified to sit on your father's lap. Your attempt is doomed to failure. If you at all wish to rise to the throne of the king, then you must undergo severe austerities. First of all, you must satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayana. And when you are favoured by him because of such worship, then you shall have to take your next birth from my womb. Just as a snake, when struck by a stick, breathes very heavily, Dhruva Maharaj, having been, having been struck by the strong words of his stepmother, began to breathe very heavily because of great anger. When he saw that his father was silent and did not protest, he immediately left the palace and went to his mother. Mother! Why are you crying? Has, have you been fighting? Has someone been unkind to you? Who was it? Pain upon others suffers himself from that pain. My 
dear boy, whatever has been spoken by Mother Suruji is so, because the king, your father, does not consider me to be his wife or even his maid servant. He feels ashamed to accept me. Therefore, it is a fact you have been born from the womb of an unfortunate woman. My dear boy, whatever has been spoken by your stepmother Suruji, for the harsh to hear is factual. If you truly desire to sit on the royal throne, you must follow exactly her instructions. Giving up all envy, you must engage your mind in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Is God so great? He is so great that simply by worshipping his lotus feet, your great-grandfather, Lord Brahma, was able to create this material universe. And your grandfather, Swayam Bhubamanu, achieved greatest material success and afterwards was liberated, which is impossible to obtain by worshipping the demigods. My dear son, as far as I am concerned, no one can relieve your distress but the Lord decides Supreme Lord. Mother, I understand what you are saying and I am convinced you are right. I am determined to be the favour of Lord Narayana and nothing shall stop me. I shall not return without seeing the Lord himself in person. My Lord, I am coming. Dhruva, wait. Dhruva yeah. left his home with full determination in his heart to seek out the Supreme Lord. He was a mere child of only five years. He was undeterred and continued his path. The great sage Narada overheard this news and he was struck with wonder. Just as a guru puts his sincere disciples through rigorous tests, in the same way, Narada Muni decided to test out Dhruva Maharaj's determination. He approached Dhruva and touching the boy's head with his hand, he spoke as follows. They cannot even tolerate a slight infringement upon their prestige. Just look at this boy. He is a small child, yet harsh words from his stepmother have proved unbearable to him. My dear boy, little boys like you are usually attached to sports and other games, but you have decided to undertake the mystic process of meditation just to achieve the mercy of the Lord. But in my opinion, such austerities are not possible by any ordinary man. It is better that you go home. When you are grown up, you may execute these austerities. My dear Narad Muni, please will forgive me for not accepting your instructions, but this is not my fault. It is due to my having been born in a Kshatriya family. I want to occupy a position even more exalted than even achieved than my grandfather's. Kindly advise me of an honest path for which I can follow to achieve this goal. The instructions given to you by your mother Sunipi to follow the path of devotional service are just perfect for you. You should go to the bank of Yamuna where there is a virtuous forest named Madhuan. After purifying yourself in the Yamuna, you should sit down on your asana and practice meditation. I shall also give you the mantra which is to be chanted in this process of meditation. Repeat after me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 This is the mantra to be chanted with this process of meditation. Anyone who thus engages in the devotional service of the Lord are blessed according to his desire. Narayana, Narayana. Narayana, Narayana, Narayana. Following the instructions of Narad Muni, Dhruva Maharaj arrived at Madhuvan and he engaged himself in worshipping the Supreme Lord. Perfectly following the signs of yoga. For the first month, he ate only fruits and berries on every third day. Oh, the more I go, I 
on only one leg with that motion and concentrate his mind fully on the Supreme Lord. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. In this way, when Dhruva Maharaj captured the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the three worlds began to tremble. While standing on one leg, the pressure of his big toe pushed down half the earth and the total universal breathing became choked up. All the great demigods in the upper planetary systems felt suffocated and thus took shelter of the Supreme Lord Narayan. Even after dissolution, 
This planet is surrounded by a solar system, other planets and stars, which then commandulate this planet. After your father's retirement, you will rule his kingdom for 36,000 years and never grow old. Also, listen to his future predicaments. While hunting, your brother Uttama will be killed. And while searching for him, your stepmother Suruchi will be devoured by a forest fire. At the time of death, when you leave this body, you will go to this planet, Pole Star, and you will never have to come back to this material world. After offering Dhruva the planet Pole Star, Lord Vishnu returned to his abode on the back of Garuda. In the meantime, Narad Muni had informed King Uttanapa and his queen of Dhruva's heroic deeds in the forest and the great success that he had achieved. I am such a fool. I have brought a supreme lord for things that are temporary and material. The Lord is so kind, so merciful, that instead of rejecting me, He has not only fulfilled all my material desires, but has given me the first tool of loving devotional service. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya After his meeting with the Lord, Dhruva decided to go back home. When King Uttarapa heard that his son Dhruva was coming, he became very eager to see the face of his lost son. He immediately proceeded in a parade towards the city gates, along with both his queens and son Uttama. Queen Suruchi's consciousness had reformed on hearing about Dhruva's austerities in the forest. She had repented for her cruel behavior and harsh words to Dhruva, and now was equally eager to see her son Dhruva. Upon seeing Dhru Maharaj, King Uttanapa embraced him with both arms and bathed him with torrents of tears. Upon seeing Dhru Maharaj, King Uttanapa embraced him with both arms and bathed him with torrents of tears. Dhruva! Dhru Maharaj offered his obeisances to his father. and both his mothers. And he embraced his brother, Uttama. Dhruva, my dear son, you are so glad you are hurt. You are dearer to me than life itself. I have constantly been praying for your safe return. My dear boy, we are all relieved you are home. Well, may you live. Dear friends, a beloved son was lost a long time ago, and it is our greatest good fortune that he has been returned to us. It appears that this boy will be able to protect us for a very long time and put an end to all our sufferings. Now let us return to the city, where we will have a great celebration in honor of our glorious little hero, Dhruva Maharaj. In order to celebrate Dhruva's return, the whole city was decorated very opulently. Dhruva Maharaj thereafter lived in his father's palace for a very long time. And when King Uttan Uttanapad saw that Dhruva Maharaj was mature enough to take charge of the kingdom, he enthroned him as emperor of the planet. Dhruva Maharaj ruled the planet for 36,000 years. He continuously rendered devotional service unto the Lord with unrelenting force. Dhruva Maharaj was endowed with all godly godly qualities and hence was all greatly loved by all his citizens. Then at the end he left his kingdom handing it over to his sons and retired to Badri Kashyap. At the end of his life, because of perfectly executing devotional service, the Lord's personal associates came with a beautiful celestial plane and took him back to Godhead along with his mother Suniti. So we would like to introduce the characters of this drama. We had um, Siddhan acting as Dhruva Maharaj. Please give a big round of applause to Siddhan. 
we had Ritika doing a double role. She is King Uttanapal as well as Narad Muni. We have uh, Vaishnavi acting as Queen Suniti. We have Shreya acting as Queen Suruchi. We have Saket acting as Uttama. We have Neha acting as Kutila. This little boy Ishan acting as one of the demigods. Surya as the second demigod. And Kapila as the third demigod, Lord Indra. And last but not the least, we have Brinda acting as Lord Vishnu. And the narration was done by Neha and Aditya. Please give a big round of applause.